So I made a video just a minute ago talking about um, haters and them sending shade on your light. And when I went to watch it again, the audio was, you couldn't understand it. And it made me go, hmm, this is a message that haters don't want you to hear. And it's a simple reminder with my backwards picture, inhale, exhale, repeat. So if you can remember in life, you're great at something. You're great at something that other people are not. We all have special abilities that we don't share with one another. And when people start seeing certain aspects of you, a lot of them want to pick it apart, tear you down because they don't have that ability. And then they don't work on the backside to find what they're capable of. And instead they choose to live in a hateful, dark little vortex they create for themselves. Just constantly going around and around and around and around. So when it comes to you finally find yourself in the light, you start seeing blessings, you start seeing the world smile at you, you know, it's like a new day. Those people see it too. And those people will send shade your way. Those people will, no, 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 no. No, you don't deserve that. Oh, that's not going to work. And they start telling you all these things to get in your head. And that's the hard part. It's so easy for people to get into our heads, our personal space, our hearts. They have the ability to mess with our emotions. But a lot of times that comes from the fact that we ourselves are not secure within who we are. And lately I've been dealing with very strange dreams. People popping into my mind that I have no interest in, I haven't put thought into. And I've heard this enough to understand that when someone keeps popping into your head, they're getting into your space, your personal space. And um, I'm talking your energy. And it's because they're thinking about you. They're, they're wanting to manifest or pull you back into their world. And a lot of times, the people that will focus like this are low vibrational individuals. And those low vibration people feel the energy that high vibrational people give. They see the blessings that come from being involved with these people. And then when you turn your back on them, they can become very vengeful. They can be hurt that how dare you walk away from me? I didn't tell you we were done. And an arrogant attitude like that, you could take yourself way over there, <laughs> way, way, way over there. Because for one, you're not my master. You did not create me. You do not give me life. You don't even have the ability to give me options. So in the end, when it comes to these haters, they'll take a lot of their precious energy, their life force, and they'll waste it on trying to destroy people that know who they are have something that they stand up for, are willing to fight injustice. And the thing about when you try to go against the good hearts, the light, you're only hurting yourself. So instead of going through life looking for revenge, look for the lesson in the pain. Grow through it. Get your glow up on. Stop being a hater. Stop looking around and picking and choosing who you want to destroy because you can't be. Instead, get some inspiration in your life. Find something you're good at. Make it better. Do more than one thing if you need to. 
but stop looking around at what somebody else has that you don't have and I want it. Be an entitled little brat. Spirit doesn't care. You can cry all day long. I want it. I want it. But you know what? You only deserve it when you work for it. When you align with a positive, empowering energy, it flows through you. This is what you become. When you align with a negative, toxic, nasty, hateful energy, guess what you are? And you can keep saying everybody in the world is against you. Of course they are because you attract what you are. When you're against the world or you're against yourself, that's what you're going to get. Pain, trials, tribulations. And not saying everybody that has trials and tribulations is a terrible person. But when it's consistent in your life and no matter what you do, you can't get out of it and you have nastiness in your heart, and you deal with jealousy on a regular basis, you're who I'm talking to. The ones that know they're not right, the ones that are jealous and just want what everybody has without any effort on their behalf, you're the hater. So when you can go and say, okay, I realize that I've been going through trials and tribulations, Maybe spirit's trying to get my attention. Maybe I'm not on the right path. Maybe I haven't been putting forth any effort in the right places in life. Because you can make life one big party. But don't expect to be blessed. You're enjoying yourself. Going out, drinking, partying. Not putting forth the effort to make your spirit stronger. You're entertaining the vessel in which your spirit is contained. And when you choose to keep entertaining your time, instead of working to get stronger and learn lessons and move forward, level up. Because you're here to learn lessons. You're here to teach and be taught. And only you can decide what it is you're trying to teach. Are you going to teach your children to be entitled, angry, hypocrites, want nothing but control, manipulate people's emotions, tear themselves down? Or are you going to choose to teach your children to fight against injustice, speak up against bullies, fight for the light, not the darkness? Because you're creating their future. You're creating the lack or the purpose and gain in their life. The choice is yours because honestly, they are simply an extension of who you are. So when you choose to be a low vibration individual because you thought you moved forward in life like that, your choice could be the one thing that destroys you. Your choice can be the one thing that destroys your children. Your children in turn will be the thing that helps destroy this planet even faster. That takes away all of the blessings from everyone. But the thing in the end is you can't take away the blessings from those that are blessed because they work to level up while the world you work to destroy falls apart. And it's just like going to bed one night, knowing everything is falling apart. And then you wake up in a new day, a new way. And there's a, a memory of what it was. And it's almost like waking up out of a dream going, whew, I dodged that. And then it fades away. That's the thing with energy and vibrations. You can tune in to many different stations. You can follow the frequencies. You can change your life by the way that you choose to live. Do you live trapped in your mind hating the world? Or do you live 
within your heart and your mind to create peace, to allow everyone to feel successful with their own gifts, their own abilities? Do you allow it to be okay to ask for help? Do you mock those that try? Do you go after those that walk away from you? Or do you send them off in love and light and wish them the best because you know that they're hurting? <clears throat> Excuse me. You know that they have done so much negative in their life that they almost can't come back. And this is where you as a person have to get on your knees, pray, ask for forgiveness, change your ways. Stop focusing on the good in everyone's life and wishing failure upon them. If you wanna be a writer, work on writing. If you wanna be a musician, practice an instrument. If you wanna be an artist, invest in the supplies. <clears throat> if you wanna be the best stay at home parent in the world, learn how to do those things. If you wanna be a baseball player, get out even when it's raining and hot and invest your time wisely. But stop taking your time to look around at something that you envy and then spend your time trying to destroy that for that person. Because who are you? You're the devil walking around. And you think nothing of it. And then when things don't go your way, you cry about it. Who are you? Get your heart right. Get your head out of your ass. Understand that you're choosing what you're choosing. <laughs> you are acting on your emotions. And the only way you're going to get right is to start being positive. Stop being a hater. Like I said, the choice is yours. And all I can tell you is to remember to inhale, exhale, and repeat. And send off everything that hurts you with love and light. You can be great or you can become a nasty individual that is going to die <clears throat> a miserable life, live a miserable life, and then die on your own, I should say. Because eventually... No one wants to be around the negativity. And if you surround yourself with negativity and users and haters, who do you think is going to cry at your bedside? Just remember, you have the choice. Peace.